Hello, we're back. Welcome to the final episode in the Euro Demo series that is part of Volume 1. This is Euro Demo 17. This is the final instalment to the, uh, well, Volume 1 series, as I just said. So, uh, yeah, next up will be Euro Demo 18, which will be part of Volume 2. So, uh, Yaris, uh, so let's see what the final disc before Volume 2 has got in store for us. I can already see, but anyway. Oh, it's this in the face again. Fun. Cool. Oh, well, we've got Destruction Derby 2, Tunnel B1, Sentient. Is that how you say it? Sentient. And Broken Sword. These are all playable, according to the disc cover. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, Destruction Derby 2. So, let's do some wrecking. That would be good, wouldn't it? Uh, uh oh. Does this not work? Oh no, please. Well, that's a great start, isn't it? Right, well, we'll have to do the thing. Wait, what? Wait. Uh-oh. Are you having a laugh? No! No! The PlayStation's broke. Oh, no. Oh, well, we all know Destruction Derby 2 definitely doesn't work now. Well, shit. Right. Well, uh, we're going to have to do a reset. Sorry, guys. Destruction Derby 2 suckingly doesn't work. Damn. Great. That's just great, isn't it? One fourth of the disc doesn't work already. Right. I'll see you guys in a minute. Right, okay, uh, we should be back up and running now. Oh, damn it. That, that really does suck that I had to completely reset my console for that one. So, Destruction Derby 2 does not work. That's just pity, isn't it? Ah, oh, wow. That's annoying. I'm just going to quickly check if smoothing is on. It is brilliant. Bastard. Ah, oh, oh, well. Well, I guess we're going to have to move on straight away, aren't we? Um, so... Uh, what else we got? Okay, Tunnel B1. Never heard of the other three games. Actually, no, tell a lie. Broken Sword was a video, so we know what that one is. Shadows of the Templars, I believe. But the other two I've not heard of. So I'm going to have absolutely no clue how to play this. Loading. At least this works. That's good. <laughs> ah, press Start button. Loading. Get ready. What the? What the? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. What the? Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, what the hell? Mission failed. Right? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. That, that one I gotta try again. What the fuck was I supposed to do? Let's try that again. This is off to a shit start, isn't it? <laughs> uh oh. Oh dear. Never mind. I don't know how to play a game. I don't know how to play a game. It's just how it is, isn't it? I just started getting fired at straight away. It's... 
I wish these games would tell you how to play because otherwise, how is anyone supposed to enjoy your demo? I'm blowing myself up. What the mission failed? What? What do you got to do? I don't understand what you got to do. What the fuck? I'm just pressing button. I'm... Oh, yeah, right. Last go. If it goes the same way this time, I'm not going to bother because I'm not going to sit here all day and just do the same game and do the exact same stuff. I don't, I don't know how to play. <laughs> oh, God. That's the really annoying thing about these demos sometimes, you just do not know. Just like how to play the game. Last go. What the hell? God, what are you doing? Right. Mission. Oh, you know what? Fuck this. I can't be. I can't be asked. Sorry, that's all you're going to see from Tunnel B1. Because I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Ugh. Right, what's next? Sentient. Blimey, we're halfway through the demo already and it's just... Both of the games have been either crap or... Unplayable. And this one's got controls. Right, well, I'm going to make this just a bit easier, just so I can actually play the game. Go back. Alright. Control. Okay. Speech bubble confirmation on. Oh, no, 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 I saw it. Go back, go back. I want to see what I need to do. Oh god, okay. Right. Open door, shift, frown, smile, left, right, look down, look up, okay. Cancel, okay, inventory cursor. Pause, select, or we'll select ends the game, so we don't want to do that. Okay. Simple enough. Start game. Sentient demo. Solar flare has hit the station. The shielding has been damaged. You only have 10 minutes to activate the shields before a second flare hits. And if you man even if you manage that, there's only 15 minutes of oxygen left. Oh dear.
Okay. I can't read it. Message ends. Mm -hmm. What I need to do is get out of here, I think. So we need to get through there. Right. Let's go over here. Circle. Press this. Warning, 10 minutes to next photo flare. Yeah, I understand. Lower engineering will not survive the impact of shields at current levels. Right. Well, we need to work out what we need to do, so let's go over here. Drive in this thing. Okay, computer overdrive. Use on item room there. Use on item inventory in there. X. My it's X was the button to do it, wasn't it? No, square cancels. Okay. Uh, right. Credentials. No. This medical scanner uses environmental. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. So, where do I put the scan? What's this? It's approachable. Can I? No, stop. Cancel, cancel. It looks like a computer, yes, of course. I want to use it. Get out of this room, let's be honest. Oh, wait, hold on. No. Ah! Yes. That should have done it. I've noticed I've only got uh... Medic, I need your help. The particle decelerator unit in the I can't read today. 
uh, in technical drivers having reverse polarity. Hey, the teleport's knackered. <laughs> right, ah. Uh. Warning, five minutes. Shit. Shit. Right, we're running out of time. So we need to... How do I get out of this room? Where's he gone? Where's the bastard gone? I made some... I did... I don't know. Medical scanner. Use on. It says there's a square there. It says out of range. Should I have left the room when... Oh, who's that? Uh, well, maybe I was supposed to leave the room when I was supposed... To, when he opened the door. Oh, no. Can I go through this door? room. help there's no we have no way of surviving we're doomed Garrett doomed great let me out hell yeah Otherwise, diverting power from the thruster control to the oxygen flow unit in the hope that a few of us could survive here back in. That's security. Right. How do I 
command him. Give a command. Oh, okay, well, whatever. Let's walk around a little bit. See what's around. Obviously, I've already accepted the fact that I'm not going to beat this demo. I don't know if you can tell, but I have definitely like oh, someone is in there. Oh, right, okay. There's someone in there, but... Yeah. I'm making very slow progress, but the problem is I think there's only five minutes left, and I think that five minutes is almost up, so... Obviously, we are going to lose, so it's obvious, um, but, you know, it's not been a bad demo, has it? I don't think I'll make it this far. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Score 22. Yeah. I think I lost. Oh well. Could be worse, couldn't it? Mm. Oh well. 22 points. It's probably really shit. At least I got out of that room and I got to go and explore about it a little bit. Last thing on the disc broken sword. Broken sword, shadows of the Templars. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 English. Uh, 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 English. Uh, 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 English. Paris in the fall. Oh. I was going to say, I thought the game didn't work. And the end of the millennium. The city holds many memories for me. Of cafes, of music, of love, and of death. Sony Computer Entertainment Europe presents... Thing. Broken, yeah, Broken Sword, the Shadow of the Templars. Ah, oh. pretty game. Not half bad for PS1, in fairness.
Is that a bomb? Yeah. Oh dear. So that clown is killer. Lovely. That took a dark turn quickly, didn't it? Looking all good, and next thing you know, bang! Mm hmm. What is that? Is that a coin? I don't know. I can assume it is. As I picked myself up, all I could hear was the ceaseless drone of traffic. Life went on around me, but the explosion was to change my life forever. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. So. This is a point and click adventure. I considered straightening the table but I figured it best not to disturb the evidence. Fair it is. So X resets my cursor for some reason. So what is, I guess I'm just going to tap and click, I assume. Oh wow. That's not good, is it? Let's examine. Oh. I tried not to meet his stare as I searched the dead man's pockets. No wallet, no papers, no credit cards. The guy's past was a blank page. Shit. Oh, okay. X does that. Oh my head, never again. How much vodka did I drink? Oh no, don't tell me. What is your name, Sherry? George Stobart, ma'am. Oh, American. She asked the question quite innocently, but I could sense her reserve. It was something which seemed to afflict all Europeans. You look like you could use a little help. I could use a little drink. I feel sick, dizzy, and bruised. I don't even remember the party. Just relax and take it easy. You've been knocked out. You don't say. What happened? There's been an explosion. You should try not to move. Are you a doctor? Yes, I am. I studied under Dr. Benton. Who is he? I don't know if he is or not. Only one of the most yes. brilliant medical minds on this planet. He taught me everything I know about medicine. Can you remember anything at all? No. I need a drink. Pour me a brandy. No. You could be in shock. No alcohol. Okay, you're the doctor. What about the old man? Is he dead? Of course not. I don't know. I didn't want an hysterical French girl on my hands. At least, not right now. Okay, next. Do you remember what happened when the clown entered? I remember that all about Tuni played all right. It was like a funeral dirge. I'd never liked accordion music either. Did you know the old man? No, monsieur. I never saw him before. Did the clown speak to the old man? No. He just laughed at him. Then he, he grabbed the old man's briefcase and ran out of the door. Did you see what the old man had in his briefcase? No, he didn't open it. What did the old man do when the clown snatched his briefcase? Nothing. He just sat there like he was frozen. How did the old man behave? Well, agitated. He kept looking about him at the door, at his watch. As if he was waiting for someone? Yes, I suppose so. He was worried about something, that's for sure. If you ask me. He was having an affair. He had that look about him, like a guilty husband. 
Did the old man try to stop the clown? Oh, he didn't have a chance. The clown dropped his accordion and ran out of the door. That's it. That's all I can remember. Stay here, mademoiselle. I'm going to look around for evidence. Okay. So we got some evidence from her. Let's go back out the door. Okay. <laughs> I considered straightening the table, but I figured it best not to disturb the evidence. Okay. Does this game have a lot of loading time or something? Freeze! Hold it right there! Whoa! Don't shoot! I'm innocent! I'm an American! Can't make up your mind, huh? I demand to see the American Consul. Drop your weapons and get down on the ground! Put that thing away, Sergeant Moo. I apologize, Monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? Ah, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. En avant, to the café. Marche. Right, okay. This could be like one of those quizzes that we just literally. I'm hoping I was paying attention. Shit. What a mess. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? Stop that, monsieur. Stop holding your breath at once. Has it occurred to you that he may be dead, Mou? Oui, monsieur. But I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. Clearly, the killer knew of his presence and... How many times have I warned you about premature extrapolation? All we know is that he is dead. It seemed reasonable to assume... A great detective assumes nothing. Take Maigret, for instance. But, but he was a fictitious character, monsieur. Why, he was no more real than Poirot or Tintin. That's a different move. Isn't it Tintin? They were comedy Belgians. Anyway, it is unlikely that even you will learn much from talking to the dead. Examine the girl. And take I can see why the game is in you uh, like Italian option as well. This must be an Italian game. Ob stating ob stating the obvious, but that's what I'm hey, getting anyway. Now, to business. Your name, please. George Stobar. I'm from California. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Oh no, it's not Italian, Travel. it's French. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at I this couldn't time work out the year. accent. No? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? So, yeah, I was sitting Italian out on the sidewalk. For language I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector well, in passed over my so I can't work. That's the reason action. where I'm getting a bit. Did you see the deceased? Trying to work out things. Oh shit! I missed that. Yes, I did. Was he alone? Uh, yeah. And did he say anything to you? No. He was more interested in the waitress. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? No, I didn't. I'm sorry, Inspector, I didn't. 
It never ceases to amaze me how unobservant the public can be. No, it's the clown. Is the girl all right, Moo? Fuck. She'll leave. She says the killer was disguised as a clown. A circus clown? Did you see him, monsieur? Oh, yeah. Now you come to mention it, there was a clown. I didn't think much of it at the time. After all, this is Paris. I see you come well armored with preconception. Let us hope that your sheath does not turn out to be your shroud. You are my winkle, monsieur. Winkle? And I'm not afraid to use the pin. Eh bien, I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. You may leave. I hope this little incident does not spoil the rest of your vacation. Little incident. What about my personal safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. And don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great <laughs> advice. <laughs> I honestly believe you are in no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance, please contact me. My card. Thanks. That is all. You may go. See ya. There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. But what lurks inside the subconscious? If the door can only be opened. Are you serious, monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. Academic? You are about to witness a scientific breakthrough. Hmm. Okay. Ow. Excuse me, mademoiselle? Hi, my name's George Stobart. Oh, an American by the sound of it. Yeah, that's right, on holiday in Paris. Some holiday, huh? You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. Sat right out front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with an hat and overcoat? I couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah. He went inside, just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh no, nothing like that. I am Nicole Collard from La Liberté. Well, what's that, some kind of nightclub? Uh, no, it is a newspaper. You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Say, you can interview me, about the bombing. You know, an eyewitness account. Minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris, you know, real-life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. I'll just stick to the facts, thank you. Did you see who planted the bomb? I know it sounds crazy, but he was dressed like a clown. Oh, God. It's him again. The clown has been up to this before, then. Have you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty of time. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the guy you were supposed to meet? His name was Planter. I didn't know, but he called me last night. He said he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Well, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. Why won't you tell me about this clown? Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number. You help me with my story and I'll let you in on what I know. And let's get one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Okay, it's a deal. I have to go develop these pictures. A bientôt, monsieur. Fine, I'll, uh, 
See you soon. Great. Well, let's report the news to this guy. Excuse me, Sergeant. You are the inspector. Go on, Monsieur. I really did see the clown. He ran into the alley across the street. Did you follow him? That's your job, not mine. An armed chase through the streets of Paris? That's not our style, Monsieur. Inspector Rosso may be unorthodox, but he's not crazy. How did you and Rosso arrive at the scene of the explosion so quickly? You arrived within minutes. Was it a tip-off? Inspector Rosso's sources are a perpetual mystery to me, monsieur. There are some who say he has made a pact with the devil. And what do you think? I think he is the devil. Uh. Did you find the victim's briefcase yet? No, sir. The inspector gave me specific instructions to guard this door. Until he can't... Oh, I skipped I was accident. one of the last people to see the victim alive, Sergeant. Does that worry you? Yes, it does. I feel I kind of... I owe it to him to find his killer. That is best left to the authorities, monsieur. Did he speak to you? Tell you anything? No. He just grinned and nodded. Don't let it trouble you, monsieur. Go on and try to forget. All right, then. See you later, Sergeant. Let's go that way. Oh, don't press X, because it just sends the cursor down there. We'll give this game another seven minutes, take it up to 50 minutes, and then we'll call it a day. The door was securely locked. Let's talk to this guy. Hi, can you spare a few minutes? I thought you'd been arrested. No, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, gah, I thought that was it. Those automatics were quite a punch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing his duty, I guess. Did you see a clown come by this way? A clown? Like, in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Ho! Oh, those guys are funny, aren't the they? The clown is Not the terrorist in, my in this game. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my question. Have you seen a clown? You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. Fair days. I gotta go. Don't let me keep you. Alright then. What ifs? Let's go this way. I wasn't gonna head off all over Paris until I'd investigated some more. I wasn't going to Okay, well, we've got, we got the picture. Let's go back then. Damn, I've been playing this for quite some time now. Just for the record, I am not going to be playing um, Tunnel B1 again. Just to confirm that straight away. The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. That was the only news story. The rest was rumor, gossip, and sensationalism. Then I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. It read Salah ed Din, 1345. 
Got some intel. Let's go through that tunnel. <coughs> I'm actually kind of hooked. It's a bit weird. Not usually into these types of games, but... There was nothing of interest. Right. Bins, maybe? I'd had it with sticking my nose into French trash cans. Nothing here then. No. Oh wait, hang on, something there. Uh... No. The drain pipe looked as if it would bear my weight. Oh my god. I examined the boxes closely. They were damp and smelly and decidedly empty. Mm-hmm. Already checked there, check there. Let's check here again. No. I examined the box. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Let's go back. I considered climbing the lamppost, but it wasn't going to shed any light on the affair. No. There's no point going over there, so... I considered straightening the table, but I figured it no, best not, not to disturb the evidence. Let's just look here one more time. I examined the jagged glass remaining in the window. It was broken, all right. <laughs> of course it was. I speak to the sergeant again. Excuse me, sergeant. Please go away, monsieur. Let's just finish up the investigation. I know the identity of the dead guy. His name was Plantau. Is that so? You knew him, did you? No, but... We'll know everything there is to know about him soon enough. I'm trying to be helpful here. The best way you can help us is to go home, monsieur. What is Rosso doing with that girl? He is giving her the once-over, as you Americans say. Huh? Once he gets his <laughs> teeth into a case, nothing uh -huh. will shake him off. Was he serious about all that psycho-detective stuff? Of course. Inspector Rosso is a pioneer and a visionary. He's a revolution. I can't see it taking off in LA. See you later, Sergeant. Okay. I'm going to start selecting a minute just to give everyone a heads up. Um, I'm not going to be playing this so much longer. Oh. Oh. No. Let's go over there. No! Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't. I, uh, every time I press the button, go over there. I think there's something else I need to ask that miner, and I'm going to see if I can go over there. If I can't go any further than this, I'm probably going to start select. Simply because I just don't want the video to be over an hour long just yet. There was nothing inside the tent except a large toolbox. I speak to you. Hey, you! What do you want now? 
Look, I know you're busy, but surely you'd have noticed a clown. I told you already! I didn't see a thing! He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. He'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. <laughs> Say, who are you anyhow? A cop? No, of course oh, not. I mean, do I look like a cop? I guess not. How do you know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Didn't you hear the explosion? The cafe was blown up. I wondered what that bang was. Any bodies? Yeah, an old man was killed. Nerd. I didn't think it was that serious. What about the waitress? Oh, she's fine. Thank the saints. Hmm. <laughs> Did you see an old guy with a briefcase? Wait, silly old coot. Do you it know sounds what like this is some sort of investigation well, game, and it's a point and click dead. kind of thing. I could watch it and all it's day. based off of a clown I could have knocked who's blowing up a cafe up. and it's, it's like a terrorist attack in Paris. Paris? Ugh, I can't Did talk about Paris. the old man? No. Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, it's not a bad game. It's actually it looks very good on PS1. Up. Was he the one who died in the cafe? Yeah. That's too bad. Now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. If only I could turn back the clock. If only I'd been more tolerant. Regret and remorse are strange emotions. They really bring out the hammiest actors in people. I got Don't let me keep you. Okay, right. Let's move on. I'll try to. I wasn't going to head off all over Paris. Sorry, Select. Um, we made it that far. Um, obviously, as I said, um, obviously, um, I, I was just going to do that bit. Um, and, uh, obviously it said we couldn't move on, so clearly I missed some things. Um, but obviously I'm going to be there all day, and, um, quite frankly, um, it's getting late at night, and I need to go to bed. And, obviously, because I'm filming this at near enough midnight. Um, and obviously, I've got a busy schedule, so I can't really, um, I can't really play on any longer. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, unfortunately, this was actually quite possibly one of my least favourite demo discs I've played yet. The fact that Destruction Derby didn't t uh, uh, Destruction Derby 2 didn't work is an absolute pain in the ass. I mean, Tunnel B1 sucked balls. I mean, how you even play that game, I have no idea. Honestly, like... That's just absolutely crazy to me. Sentient, like the idea, really cool. Um, obviously, I just kind of wish it was a little bit more explanatory on what you had to do, but um, for the most part, um, it's like you have to work it out. And Broken Swords, a very good game. I like that. That was quite enjoyable, but obviously, as I said, I had to cut it short because I don't have the time to do it. So, uh, yeah, I don't want the, uh, the video to be an hour long. So, um... Yeah, but I enjoyed that one, so, yeah, Broken Sword saved it a little bit there, um, and I reckon Destruction Derby 2 would have been a decent demo disc, uh, a demo as well on this disc, so, yeah, um, Sentient, decent, Tunnel B1, fuck you, <laughs> so, um, yeah, if anyone knows how to play that game, please do let me know, because I, just, I couldn't work that shit out, um, and I, I, I gave it a good crack, but, yeah, unfortunately you can't always win at these things. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you guys in Volume 2. I hope you enjoyed uh, the entirety of Volume 1. Um, I don't think I did a too bad of a job playing through these the first 17 discs. Um, volume 2 doesn't end now until, uh, I believe, Disc 37. So we've got 20 upcoming discs between 18 to 37 which are volume 2 and then after that it's a straight stretch to disc 108 until that time though that uh, until next time though lads have a good evening take care goodbye